A big part of being a skeptic is having a healthy, or some would say unhealthy, appreciation for optical illusions. After all, skepticism is all about understanding how easy it is for us to be fooled, not just by other people, but by our own brains. And that's just what's happening with optical illusions. It's our own brain fooling itself. Uh, One of the simplest and most common optical illusions out there is pareidolia, when an inanimate object looks like something else. It's pretty common in cases of religious iconography, like when you see Allah written on your flatbread, or when your cinnamon bun looks like Mother Teresa, or Jesus appears in your toast, or when Jesus appears also in your dog's butthole. You get the idea. Uh, More commonly though, pareidolia is just a face. It's a face that you see on the moon or on Mars or in your coffee or an eggplant or your mailbox. Uh, That's common because your brain has a specific area that's in it that's primed to pick out other human faces. Uh, So it's something that we're all really good at, more or less. Uh, Too good at it, in fact, because your brain ends up with a lot of false positives. Uh, Basically, any two dots with a line under it uh, might remind you of a human face. And while you might occasionally think that a face looks like a dog or a bird or some other animal, it's much, much, much more common for you to be reminded of a human face because that's what your brain is most primed for. Uh, All of that brings me to a really fun recent study that shows for the first time ever that another species can also experience pareidolia. Neuropsychologists gathered photos that are examples of pareidolia for humans. Uh, And then they showed those photos to rhesus monkeys alongside control photos of either an actual monkey's face or the same object that's in the pareidolia photo, but rearranged in a way that makes it not look like a face at all. Uh, They then studied how long the monkeys looked at each photo. Previous research suggests that both humans and other primates uh, tend to spend more time looking at photos of faces than any other kind of photos. So if the monkeys in this scenario spent more time looking at photos of the pareidolia, then that would suggest that there's evidence that they're seeing a face there. And sure enough, that's exactly what happened. The monkeys spent more time looking at the pareidolia pics than the pics of the objects rearranged to not look like a face. Even more Interestingly, they spent more time looking at the pareidolia pics than they did looking at pictures of actual monkeys' faces. Now, the researchers point out that this could be because this species of monkey, rhesus monkeys, have a bit of an issue staring at their own species' faces for too long. Like maybe it's a sign of aggression or something like that. So maybe that's why they didn't look at the monkey faces for too long. Or maybe... Maybe uh, they found the pareidolia pictures more interesting because they're seeing a face, but they know that it's not a face. In other words, maybe they're aware that they're looking at an optical illusion, which is pretty awesome and leaves room for new studies to look into exactly how the monkeys are experiencing this optical illusion. Uh, Finally, the researchers recorded where the monkeys spent most of their time looking when they looked at these photos. And for both the pictures of the monkeys and the pictures of the pareidolia objects, they spend the most time looking at the eyes and the mouth. So it's pretty convincing. Uh, It's a simple study, but I found it, I find it really interesting because optical illusions are uh, pretty normal these days for us humans, but that doesn't mean that other animals experience them the same way. This study shows that monkeys are capable of that kind of processing. And so the evolutionary roots of our ability to find faces in everyday objects go deeper than we might have thought. So next step, I say, <clears throat> next study, let's, let's get these monkeys to tell us whether or not that goddamn dress is white and gold or black and blue.